Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. So um, I just wanted to get on here today because the Lord put this on my heart. Um, he has given me several messages about darkness. And you know what I realized? He's never given me the word three. And I didn't even notice it until like it popped in my head the other day. And I just started looking at all the messages and I saw that he's never said three days. And <clears throat> it's possible it could still be three days, but he's just never said it because of Exodus. They had three days and, you know, the Holy Spirit's going to be gone because the restrainer when the rapture happens. Well, anyway, so he has told me, so I've never given dates on darkness. I know someone stitched me on that, but um, those were that person's dates, not mine. Just FYI, I saw some people commenting on it. But guys, no matter if somebody gets something wrong or you guys don't understand it, don't don't hate your neighbor okay god doesn't like scoffing and mocking you're supposed to love your neighbor and so much has changed you know the, with the calendar dates the lord has told me that um so you just you, you want to be careful just in case you know you never want to say anything that you're going to regret you should always love your neighbor even if they're wrong okay um and the one true thing i do know is jesus did die for us and he took away our sins i do know that and he is the son of god and he's also god it's all in one god has showed me that but what i'm going to tell you is i'm going to show you real quick what he had said about darkness and then we can go from here so on January 15th, he had said, um, wake up, O sleeper, darkness is coming. My chariots are hunting in the night. This is between good and evil, so do not go outside or you will die. Look at the sign of the sun darkening. There will be a halo around the moon. The evil has shifted. Stay inside. You will be protected by the blood on the doorpost. Um... Death is here, and he will be riding through the streets. Time is running out. Heed all my warnings. They shall come to pass. So that was the first part. And um, just to let you know, Revelation 6 talks about death rider, if you look at that. And it talks about plagues and, and the death. Uh, I think it's like the death horse or whatever. So, and I do know in Exodus, um, that happen with with I think someone had said it could be Passover um you know with the blood on the doorpost but I'm not sure I like I said I don't know a lot but I do know what God has taught me and as far as the darkness he just keeps saying the same thing about darkness falls so so February 7th he said Obama will rise and you will become and you will over." Be overcome by darkness. Keep watching. So what he told me originally was um, the rapture happens, darkness falls, Obama rises. I don't know if that's all the same time, but he's also told me um, EMPs, uh, a worldwide blackout. And then February 18th, he said, my child, darkness is coming. The sun will turn black during the day and halo around the moon. China invades shortly after that. Russia never wanted to wanted this, but U.S. forced his hand. The northern lights will be seen in Alaska. And apparently there's a couple months in Alaska where they can really be shown. So that's kind of a sign. I'm calling you up. The dragon will not devour you. When the blackout arrives, take shelter. See, he showed me Revelation 12, the, the baby sim symbolizing the chosen ones and, and Jesus. Um, and because we're all one in Jesus, I will protect the rest. I'm catching you up soon. Keep watching. I love you. Once the restrainer is removed, pray to me without seizing, confess your sins and I will forgive you. Believe in me. Lay your idols down. Pestilence and famine comes after darkness. Then on March 22nd, he says, and darkness will overcome the whole world. Electrical magnetic pulse is coming. Blackouts everywhere. I'm calling you up. Um, it's not too late to pray to me, worship me, believe in me, and I will save you. War is coming. It is so soon. When the nukes go up, you go up. Then martial law, Obama, and power. He also talked about, uh, so after that, he said, the sky is luminous. I am shaking the heavens. I am shaking the earth. The rock is falling. 
meteorites, pieces of fragments falling. The angel of light will appear. Darkness will overcome the world. Um, let's see. Stay in your homes. Pray to me without ceasing. I'm speaking to my new believers. The church will be gone. So when the Holy Spirit's gone, guys, the restrainer's removed, you know, you're going to be praying and um, for protection. And the whole thing was, it's going to be very supernatural in the end times. The witnesses are going to have powers through the spirit of Elijah and Enoch is what, what I heard. Um, okay, and then also March 25th, at the end, he says, darkness falls, look up, keep watching the moon, redemption draws nigh. And obviously, there's a lot more to these messages, but I don't have time. See, I don't, I don't have time to read all the words. Um, and then March 27th, my child, I'm coming. Lights will be everywhere in the sky. It will light up like the 4th of July. The northern lights will be colorful, emerald green. Wait for my coming. The north lit up and broken off. Maps severed, darkness falls. Trumpets sound, Obama will rise and desolation will start. Time is short. The ninth hour is coming soon. Look at the clock. Does it tell time? Okay, and then there's just more after that. And then April 7th. Um, let's see, my child, I'm coming, I'm coming, there's no more time left, don't, don't wait to come to me, you don't want to be left behind, destruction is about to come upon this world, darkness is going to fall, after my chosen ones are gone, stay in your homes, lock your doors, doors, pull down all curtains, secure windows, do not answer the door, do not go outside, death rider will be in the streets, it's between good and evil, pray to me without ceasing, so, Again, another darkness warning with blackouts and stuff. So I do believe it's going to be very evil, whether it's really three days of darkness. I don't know because he never actually gave the word three days. And I really didn't even realize that until a thought came to my head to look it up. Um, so I found that very interesting. Um, and so there's definitely a message there. You know, when the, when the people are gone it's going to be like hell on earth. It's going to be terrible. That's why you have to know Jesus. You have to ask him to come into your, to your life, repent from your sins. You know, repentance is a change of mind. If you look at the root word, so repent, come to Jesus, change your mind about not believing him and give him childlike faith. Guys, it is your faith and his grace. Okay. So anyway, I just wanted to get that out and love thy neighbor okay just keep loving thy neighbor whether or not they're right or wrong you know just don't condemn yourself for you know judging somebody else because um you know our rewards in heaven it's not based on works to salvation but i i do believe you know works will play a role in in our rewards in heaven you know we've got to look at our fruits and you got to think about to a new believer guys who sees a Christian going after somebody very, very rude and negative. You know, you come with love and correction. And that's what the Lord, you know, has been showing me. And no one's perfect. We all fall short from his glory. So, but Jesus is amazing. You know, he died for us. He took away our sins. So don't let anyone tell you that. He didn't because he did. Okay, the Lord has me um, uploading all these prophecies from March, which I'm about to do. Um, the whole month just to kind of show but it's going to be on my YouTube seek heavenly things and um, another prophecy was fulfilled last night um, on March 18th the Lord told me I was at dinner and he said uh, New England church fire New England church fire and I just heard it in my head over and over again I was like what is this and I told my best friend I was like I just heard in my head New England church fire and the Holy Spirit came over me and then last night um, one of the New England Regent Massachusetts um, had a church fire, a huge church fire. So, like I said, the Lord is giving me these random things to warn people because He's trying to wake people up because He is coming soon. Okay, have a blessed day, guys.